Hey there, here's a quick tutorial on how to convert your hair assets onto a card mesh. Uh, here I do it with a curve based quick fur type of hair, but it would also work with, let's say, old particle hair system. So let's get to it. I've been uh, struggling with this for a while, so I thought you might find this quick fix quite useful. So here is our for asset, you can see it's just curves, so that's not exactly what we want if we want to, let's say, use it for a game. So we create a card asset, it will be just a bunch of, oh, goddamn, bunch of planes. We align them approximately alongside our hair asset. Now you can do it as precise as you want, as dense as you want, and you're probably gonna get better results than I will. So that should do it. So now we need to select all of our faces and unwrap them. We want to have them unwrapped so that they don't over overlap, otherwise it wouldn't work. So, now, uh, let's go here. We assign a new material to our cart mesh. And so we're gonna use a new node introduced in Blender 4.2. Uh, it's called Report. And as you can see, it doesn't show up, and that's because we are in an EV render mode. So we need to switch to cycles. And now, when you look at the shader, we have Report all BSDF node. So we connect it to the surface. Uh, this node has so broad usage but we're gonna use it just to uh, project everything that's alongside the normal of each face and project it onto the face. So here we need position of the face as a position, of course, and the normal as the direction we, we wanna go, but it wouldn't work unless we scale it to minus one. Oh, come on. So if we go here to render mode, now we might see there are the hair projected on to the planes, but also we have our mesh here projected, so that's not exactly what we want. So we hide our human mesh. Now there are only the hair projected and the other thing we want and the other thing we want to do. Uh, we want to go to words and set this color to alpha. It doesn't show up here, but in the render we don't want our background to be gray. We want it to be uh, transparent. So they are projected hair on our cards so now uh, we would like to bake these onto as a texture for these cards so we create new texture match texture uh, it can we can leave it like that we select it, then we go to bake. Now, what we want to do is we want to. You could probably use diffuse with these turned off, but it looks kind of flat, doesn't look so good. And I found out it looks better with Glossy and all contributions applied. 
and one more thing is we would like to have some light to it otherwise it won't look really pretty and one last thing uh, now you can see with the lights on uh, these faces are projecting some shadow onto the onto the hair asset so that's not exactly what we want we need to here and um, the object panel and visibility turn off all of these so now it should be all right um, we can bake the thing Make sure you have your texture selected and click bake. Now we're gonna wait. So our baking is finished and here we can see we have our texture baked onto this image. Uh, don't forget to save the image. Now we have it here. And we kept our principal shader. You can plug it in. Plug this in. We're gonna hide this so we can see it. We're gonna show up this so we can see it. Now, uh, here we can. We have saved the alpha, so we will use it as the transparency value. Now it looks kind of good. Also we need to turn down roughness or it will like be turn up roughness and yeah, otherwise it will reflect the light as a plane and it also looks a little bit too bright so we're gonna correct it to gamma. Yeah. Something like this I guess. Of course you could and there are more faces and it would look way better but you can see uh, these textures align perfectly with how the uh, original asset looked like and if you had more of these it would look quite well uh, so there's one more thing I would like to mention uh, it could happen that uh, if we hide our human here, hide this and show this one. Uh, if your other side would look different, it might happen to that on uh, on guards on this side of the human would be projected also curves on this side, which is not exactly what you want. And our ray portal BSDF node can fix that too. We put here our ray portal node, plug it in. Uh, yeah, we wanna use uh, here, we wanna use our mesh as a uh, ray portal, and we want to teleport to every race somewhere far away where we have our transparent background. So we're gonna use our normal and as a direction. We add there something like 1100, I don't care, some like crazy values to the direction. And now you can see it hides everything that's behind the object and uh, on the render it will look transparent. So I hope that helped you and be good.